Good morning. Welcome to my kitchen. That was really cheesy, but <laughs> um, it's about 7.30 this morning and I am just putting together supper for tonight. So I thought it would be a great time for me to show you my famous um, roast uh, recipe and just how I put that together. So for this recipe, you only need a few ingredients. So really um, a couple onions. I am using yellow onions and I use about two of them. Um, any kind of potato, I just have russet potatoes here and I have about four or five, just depending on how many people you're trying to feed. And then carrots or any other vegetable that you'd like. And of course, the most important ingredient is our roast. So I am using Sleep Legacy Chuck Roast. All right, so now we're just gonna cut up our vegetables. I like to start with the onion. What I do is I cut them into rings. So I'll cut off the bottom. And then I know some people keep this end on to hold it intact, but I like to just cut it off and then peel the skin peel the skin back. So we're just left with a nice onion like so. And all I'm gonna do is just cut it into nice rings like I'm making onion rings. I like to make them pretty large, pretty fat. careful not to cut your fingers. <laughs> all right, so I've got my onions all sliced up um, into these nice rings and all I'm gonna do is lay them like that at the bottom of my crock pot. So you can use any size crock pot. Mine's just a standard one here, but you just wanna set them as best you can at the bottom. And it is okay to layer them on top of each other. Um, <clears throat> There's usually no problem at all. Everything will cook together nicely and it'll taste real good. So just like that. And so now that I have the onion all cut up, I'm just gonna do the same with my other vegetables. Um, so with the potatoes, um, you can make them however big or however small you want. Um, I like to cut the ends off even though it's not necessary. Um, just get rid of all of the little imperfections. Um, and then I like to just cut them into thirds and then I cut those thirds in half. And I'll just do the same for all of them. Some other ingredients that I didn't mention that we use for this recipe is some sort of beef stock. Um, I just use Farmer Brothers bulk. Um, it's like a sort of a stock paste. Um, see, I, it looks kind of like this. This comes from a larger jar that I just put in the small one. Um, and it's essentially like using a bouillon cube, but it's just in paste form. So you can use whatever sort of beef broth or homemade or whatever you want. And then the only other seasonings um, for this recipe, I like to just put a lot of cracked pepper. And then I do have one other seasoning that I'll bring out here in just a bit. I've got my potato all cut up into chunks. Um, I'm just gonna keep cutting up my veggies. This is all I have for carrots, sadly. Um, and then of course I have my onion here. All right, so my veggies are all cut up and I was just gonna mix together my beef base to make some soup. So I just need about one cup and you can get or have it in any form, of course. Using about a tablespoon of this beef base and then I'm mixing it into hot water. So with the roast, a roast loves water, loves moisture. If you don't wanna dry out your roast, putting some sort of stock in there, some sort of liquid, um, will help it keep its moisture and not be terribly dry. And there you go. Sometimes I like to make it a little stronger, but of course, make it however you like. <laughs> so now to our onions, all I'm gonna do is add a little bit of some cracked black pepper. 
Since the soup is generally pretty salty, I don't like to add any salt. And that looks about right. So right on top of our onions, we are going to put our roast. Again, I'm just using chuck roast. You can use whatever hunk of meat you'd like to use. You have the your chunk of meat in. All you're gonna do is fill in the outside with your veggies. So I've just got some carrots here. Just throw in at the bottom, like so. And then I just fill in with the potatoes. Just like that. And it's okay if they come above the meat as well. It'll all cook down and be good either way. Lots of potatoes. They're honestly my favorite part. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have all of our veggies and the meat together, all I'm gonna do is take our beef stock and I'm just gonna pour it right in, right on top. Of course, there's always some bits that don't get mixed in and I can just rub those right on top of the meat here. All right, now I'm gonna go wash my hands quick and I'll be right back. In the crock pot, I'm just gonna finish it off with some more cracked black pepper and I just kind of eyeball everything and that looks about right. And then earlier in the video, I mentioned that I have a secret ingredient that I use, really not a big secret. Um, so I like to use this Excalibur prime rib rub. This video is not sponsored, um, but this is by far my favorite seasoning. Um, using this, makes meat astronomically wonderful. Um, so I just like to put this just right over top of the meat. It's pretty powdery, but most of our flavor will come from this. Here's our finished roast. I just cover it. Um, I like to put it on high for eight hours and then usually ready just in time for supper. I just got home from work. And man, does the house smell good. <laughs> what do you got cooking, babe? Well, this is my roast. Nice. Eight hours of cooking on high, as I told you earlier. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. You want to give it a taste? Yeah, let's try it. Yeah. Well, that's pretty tender. Here's the bone. Came off. <laughs> yeah. This is just mm. the fat. They always say, never trust a skinny cook. I'm not but very skinny right now. I assure you, you can trust a very <laughs> Not very skinny right now. Oh, you look great. <laughs> well, it just kind of falls apart. Squished. <laughs> oh yeah. What do you think? That's good. <laughs> and That's good. And here's those onions at the bottom that I was talking about. That's the good stuff, huh? Yeah. This puts a roast right up there with a steak. <laughs> it's pretty dang good, babe. I well, even, good job. I even told them my secret, my secret uh -oh. seasoning. Uh-oh. Not sponsored, again. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we tried something a little new. Hope you guys enjoyed cooking with Damaris. We're gonna enjoy ourselves to this roast. And we, I hope you try it at home and enjoy it too. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys try it and enjoy it. Thanks for coming along. We really appreciate it. And mm. see you in the next one. See you in the next one. <laughs>